So let's look at what changed. First, we've got to move her into it being a musical star because this is Judy Garland. She's going to have to sing musical numbers in this particular uh, remake. We're still going to have our drunken actor and they're going to marry and he's going to be jealous. This is something that remains the same all the way until we get to Bradley Cooper and we'll talk about why that changes. We're going to have our Academy Award moment because musicals were things that earned Academy Awards back in the day, of course. Um, he's going to commit suicide off screen. He's going to walk off into the ocean as the noble man that he is and she too will introduce herself as Mrs. Norman Maine. So these things remain exactly the same. When the Writers Guild arbitrates a script to decide who should get final credit, they look at all versions of a script, they have a blind group of writers who sign up to do this, and they get the scripts, writer one, writer two, writer three, you don't get any names. And then you decide statistically how much of a percentage of this person's original work made it to the end. And that's how they decide credit. So I am looking at this as if I'm arbitrating the various versions of this script to see how much credit Dorothy Parker still deserves. In this case, I think a lot, right? They're borrowing a lot of what she did. 